In this video, I'm going to be de demonstrating the functionality of the patient ventilator simulator courtesy of Robert Chatburn. This is the most recent version, uh, version 9, and there's some new functionality that's pretty neat for this simulator. What's nice about it is I don't need a, a certain cell phone or a certain tablet or anything else. It just runs off of Microsoft Excel, so any computer that has Excel on it, it's going to run this um, simulator. So the functionalities need it works pretty much like an app with the hyperlinks and the functionality built in. So let's go look at the some of the new functionality with this one. So I'm going to go ahead and select my volume control CMV. If I open this up, um, as you notice now, I have what's here is my patient effort. So my muscle effort of my diaphragm, I can increase that or decrease that. I'm just going to increase it a little more from 3.8 to, let's say, 5 centimeters of water. And as you notice, what it's doing is I'm actually creating a flow asynchrony. So the patient's not getting enough flow. My flow pattern's fixed. So this relates to this pressure scooping as an indication of my flow asynchrony. So that's one reason um, I like the new functionality, because I can show a asynchrony. I'm just going to go ahead and decrease this again. And as you notice, once I decrease this, it goes away, and I have a normal ramp of a pressure waveform. Uh, the next added functionality is now I have a choice between a constant flow waveform pattern, which is my square, or a ramp, or decelerating. So this is new to the functionality. At first, we only had the square waveform. And this is nice to show the differences between um, my flow patterns and my effect on inspiratory time. So we're currently with a square waveform or constant flow and a flow of 30 liters per minute. And you notice down here is my inspiratory time is one second. And this is nice for students or users um, to realize how a decelerating flow affects my inspiratory time, especially some ventilators that just have a flow setting and a decelerating pattern, but you really don't know what the inspiratory time is because you're just setting your flow rate. So I'm going to switch this to a ramp or decelerating flow. I'm going to scroll down on my page and you notice I have a decelerating flow now. And my peak flow is 30. That's where I was before. However, you notice my inspiratory time is two seconds. So it was double of what it was with my square waveform. So I went back to my square waveform. My flow is at 30. Inspiratory time is one second. But to get that decelerating flow in, it's going to take a longer amount of time. And now I'm at two seconds. And let's go to pressure control ventilation. And as you notice, also with my pressure control, I have the opportunity um, to set my inspiratory effort also. So this shows some of the new functionality of the simulator. I hope you like it. And if you'd like a copy, please sign up for my newsletter at the link provided in the video or in the video notes. Thank you.